Alright everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Combustion Guys Energy Drink Come on Day. Is it really time again? Already? It is time again. Awesome. And this time we have a Rowdy Energy Power Bird Watermelon Rush Chest and Crossover! I have no idea. That would be kind of funny if there was a crossover of Ross Chastain and a Rowdy Energy Watermelon flavor. That's kind of interesting. The Kyle Busch Watermelon Man. That's interesting. Anyways, well, let's look at the important factors of this energy drink. We got ourselves five little calories, 40 milligrams of sodium, two grams of carbohydrate. We got ourselves 424 milligrams of potassium, 10.8 milligrams of vitamin C. 1.9 milligrams of niacin, 0.2 milligrams of B6, 0.29 micrograms of B12, 38 milligrams of magnesium, and uh, once I remember where the caffeine is, 160 milligrams of natural caffeine. Yum, yum. Burns up to 135 calories per can. Whoa. Power burn. Feel burn. Yep. Yeah. Water burn. So we'll see how this tastes here. Smells fresh. Mm. Fresh smells of watermelon. Ooh. That's the clouds. Mm. Not the flavor I was expecting. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good? It is good, but I'm not sure if it's watermelon. That tastes like watermelon? Really yeah. It's almost yeah, like it's they, but yeah, it's, it's almost like they put cream, cream into the watermelon almost. Or a little strawberry. Maybe that's it, yeah. It's only supposed to be just straight watermelon though. Yeah, it's just it's there, it's just definitely faint. It's very than faint, I yeah. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. It doesn't uh, grab you, that's for sure. But then of course watermelon yeah, isn't the, really a flavor that grabs you. Maybe like a, a jolly ranch Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more of them. Yeah, maybe more of the sour. Definitely doing more of the sour of the watermelon. Yeah, definitely more sour for sure. Hmm. That's interesting. It doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, definitely doesn't grab me as watermelon, but it's um it's yeah. good and still nice, light, refreshing, all that, so mm -hmm. like that. But yeah, the flavor again of it. What? Wait a minute. What is yeah. this? Not bad though. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Would you go pick that one up more? Oh. I don't think. Would I pick it up before? Or would you pick it up again? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No, not really. I don't honestly. No. Just it's it's one of those ones like it just doesn't quite match what you're expecting, I guess. Right. Flavor wise, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Just odd. All the normal, you know. Watermelon and flavor brownie. that you get. It has all the normal brownie. Yeah. Yeah, there's all the normal texture, all the normal nice little bubbles, cleans the throat and stuff, and idiot on the road in front of us, get out of the way. It's really like, um, <laughs> like you went up to a machine, yeah. and the, uh, you know, something's it's off, yeah. low on the I'm not sure. of flavor, you know. No, I mean, it's just what I was yeah, should, to. should have the same stuff in it that's good for you, but still, it's just like, I don't know, it's kind of off. The um, flavor's off, better. so. Yeah. Eh, so. Probably, probably odd tea, mm -hmm. honestly, just because, like, I don't know, it just it doesn't taste like watermelon. Yeah. You have to really dig for it in your taste buds to find the watermelon, so anyways. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's not too. bad, it's not bad, but it's just, eh, I don't know. So anyways, the not burst, the best one that we've had, that's for sure. Calories, I guess that's a good thing. Yep, so. Uh, maybe you can try it out. Maybe you'll like it better, but uh, yeah. not one of our one of our uh, go-to favorites. That's for mm -hmm. sure. So, anyways, check it out. Let us know if you like the power burn flavors, and we'll see you guys here next time. Bye bye.